Le Chatelier's principle is utilized in order to keep the equilibrium constant the same. A and B are our reactants, while C and D are our products. If you increase the concentration of reactant A, then the equation will shift to the right in order to re-establish equilibrium. One way to re-establish equilibrium is to increase the concentration of product D. Another way is to increase the concentration of product C. Or you can decrease the concentration of reactant B. If you decrease the concentration of reactant A, then the reaction will shift to the left in order to re-establish equilibrium. You can increase the concentration of reactant B or decrease the concentration of product C or product D. If you increase the concentration of product C, then the reaction will shift to the left in order to re-establish equilibrium. This can be achieved by increasing the concentrations of reactant A or B, or decreasing the concentration of product D. An endothermic reaction has heat as a reactant. If temperature is increased, then the reaction will shift to the right in order to re-establish equilibrium. Equilibrium can be re-established by increasing the concentration of product C or D, or decreasing the concentrations of reactant A or B. If the temperature is decreased, then the reaction will shift to the left in order to re-establish equilibrium. Equilibrium can be re-established by increasing the concentrations of reactant A or B, or decreasing the concentrations of product C or D. An exothermic reaction has heat as a product. If temperature is increased, then the reaction will shift to the left in order to re-establish equilibrium. Equilibrium can be re-established by decreasing the concentrations of products C or D, or increasing the concentrations of reactants A or B. If temperature is decreased, then the reaction will shift to the right in order to re-establish equilibrium. Equilibrium can be re-established by increasing the concentrations of products C or D, or decreasing the concentrations of reactants A or B.